Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Wild Kitchen. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make Tex-Mex venison meatballs. I love this recipe because it's packed with flavor and you can swap out the venison for virtually any other game meat. Let's get started. First, we'll make our meatballs. First, we'll get out a large mixing bowl and place one pound of ground venison into the bowl. Then we'll add a third cup of panko breadcrumbs and one small onion that's finely diced. Then we'll take a large egg, lightly beat it, and then add it to our bowl. Then we'll add in a tablespoon and a half of diced jalapenos. Now we can add our seasonings. We'll need a teaspoon of ground cumin, a teaspoon of garlic powder, a half teaspoon of salt, and a fourth teaspoon of black pepper. Next, we'll use our hands to mix all of the ingredients into the venison. We'll continue mixing until all the ingredients have equally distributed across the meat, just like it is here. Then we're ready to take an ice cream scooper and use it to form equal sized meatballs. We'll keep forming meatballs until all of the venison mixture has been used up. As you form the meatballs, place them all on the same plate until we're ready to use that later. All right, now that we've formed our last meatball, we can take our meatballs and head over to our skillet. We'll pour enough olive oil to cover the bottom of the pan and then heat the cast iron skillet to medium high heat. Once the pan is nice and preheated, we can add our meatballs one at a time, placing them carefully so that they don't touch. Once a nice golden layer has formed on the meatballs, we can turn them to the other side. We'll repeat this process until all of the sides of the meatballs have browned. At this point in the process, the meatballs don't have to be fully cooked because we'll cook them again later in our sauce. All we're looking for now is to form a nice crisp brown edge on the meatballs on all the sides. Once you've turned the meatballs multiple times and browned the venison on all sides, you can remove them from the pan and place them on a paper towel lined plate. Then we'll take our cast iron skillet and drain off most of the oil from the pan. It doesn't have to be perfect. Then we'll pour in a half cup of chicken broth and one 19 ounce can of mild red enchilada sauce. Then we'll add two chipotle peppers and adobo that have been chopped up. Then we'll use our spoon to mix those ingredients together until they're evenly distributed. Then we can add our meatballs back into the skillet one at a time, again making sure that they don't touch. Once we've finished adding all the meatballs to the skillet, we'll bring our sauce to a simmer. Once we've reached a simmer, we'll maintain that for 10 to 12 minutes and let the meatballs cook fully. As it cooks, the sauce will begin to thicken. After our time is up, we can take a cup of shredded Mexican blend cheese and pour it over top of our meatballs. We'll let that cook just until the cheese has melted, then we can turn off the heat of our skillet. Lastly, we'll top with about a tablespoon of chopped fresh cilantro and we're ready to serve. This dish works great as an appetizer or a dinner in a hurry. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.